Hi, and welcome to my sewing room. I'm Emily from Homemade Emily Jane. Today I'm going to share with you some beginner quilting tips for chain sewing. You might be wondering what is chain sewing, so let me dive into that a little bit first before we get started. If you're unfamiliar with chain sewing, it is a way to do patchwork and piecing that saves lots of time and also thread. I love chain sewing when doing patchwork quilt blocks and other types of quilting projects. In order to chain sew, the only real difference is that you sew a bunch of pieces at once and you don't snip the thread in between each piece. I'm going to demonstrate it here today using these fabrics. But before, let's go ahead and get into our five tips for chain sewing. Tip number one for awesome chain sewing is to check your quarter inch seam before you start sewing your whole stack. If your quarter inch seams are off, you're not going to want to have to rip out a bunch of seams at once. So go ahead and check it before you get started. And that brings me to tip number two, which is to make a test block before you sew all of your seams together using a chain sewing technique. Making one test block will help you familiarize yourself with the design of the quilt and make sure that you have a really good understanding of how it's constructed. Once you have a good feel for how the quilt block will be constructed, you can go ahead and chain sew the rest of your blocks together. Moving on to tip number three, which is to stack up your pieces the way that you will want them sewn together, or alternatively, you can pin them together. I personally use a special rule of thumb for when to determine when to pin and when not to pin. If I'm just sewing two pieces of fabric together, I will not pin. But if I need to match up seams, I will pin. Here's an example of a chain sewing project I'm doing right now where I pin them in place and I pin the whole set all at once so that I can quickly grab a piece and sew it together in a chain sewing fashion later on. Tip number four for chain sewing is to make sure that you're checking your directional prints. I personally try not to use directional prints or pick ones that I know won't bother me in the end result of the quilt. But if you're using stripes or any other directions, make sure that you're checking them when you're putting your piles together so that when you get time to sew, it can be nice, quick, and easy. And tip number five for chain sewing is to use a leader. A leader can be any scrap of fabric that you just stitch on before you actually sew your pieces. I find that using a leader keeps the machine from eating the edges of your pieces and gives you just a nice starting point when you start to sew. All right, let's get started sewing. So I've turned my machine on and I've already checked to make sure that I have thread in my bobbin, so I'm ready to get started. I'll go ahead and grab the first two stacks that'll be chain sewing together and place them in the order that they should go right in front of me. And then before I start stitching on them, I'll stitch on my leader first. So here we go. So now I'm ready to pick up my pieces for chain sewing. So as you can see, I've got my stacks and then I'll just place them right sides together and line them up as I go. And once you do one, you do not snip the thread and you just grab your next piece, line them up and sew it together. You'll find that it might get a little bit monotonous, um, but that's kind of why I love it. It makes it so easy and soothing to just get through the whole stack all at once. Once you get to the end of that stack that you're working on, you can choose to either grab another stack if you have another um, step prepped and ready to go and sew that stage of your quilt as well, or you can simply trim your threads, or you can even just stitch on your leader again to end it off. So I sew across my leader and then I grab my scissors and snip my chain free. And now, as you can see, we have this beautiful chain that we just chain pieced. So now, to separate them, you can simply just snip in between each one. And I like to use the table of my sewing machine kind of as a, 
as a little assistant, and then I will pull these down and snip in between them. Once you have them all snipped, you'll have a nice stack ready to be pressed. Now, once I press these, I will actually end up chain sewing this unit to another piece. So I'll do the same exact process where I just line up the two stacks and sew one at a time. So I definitely have my hands full here with all my chain sewing work to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I'm Emily from Homemade Emily Jane. For more quilting tips and tricks, be sure to check out homemadeemilyjane.com. And of course, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for all of this fun quilty inspiration.